Okay. Hey, what's up, YouTube? Welcome to Play It, Paint, and Live. Hope you guys are having a fantastic Sunday evening. And here we go with another one of these. So, uh, if you are watching this on record, go ahead and queue up whatever it is you want to paint or, um, or load up your favorite beverage. You know the drill, right? I'm just going to go ahead and get us all set up here. And we're going to call this painting. I'm going to call this painting my Lord of the Rings. Lord of the Rings and my little scythe. And I'm going to take this skill ball and Seamforge games off of the description here. It's a little loud still, son. Can go a little bit lower. <laughs> My little guy Octavius is with us as well. So, and you're going the wrong way again. Thanks, buddy. All right, and let's go here. Uh, tonight we are in the um, on-air section. So, if you're on Discord, feel free to jump into the on-air. Discord and tell us how you feel in tonight. Uh, and I'm going to show you guys what we're going to work on. Uh, first, this is very simple. We're at the tail end here of these Lord of the Rings orcs, uh, orcs and goblins. So um, all we have to do here is just a little bit of a quick dry brush, really more of an overbrush on the basing. And then we just paint the bases in, and then uh, and then we're we're going to be ready to go ahead and seal these guys up. So uh, so you'll just see them as they go by, and then we'll work on some uh, some my little scythe after that. <clears throat> and hopefully I don't have to switch the palette. Hopefully I can fit all the colors I want on the palette. Well, we'll see. So I need, I guess I can use, I guess I can use that scorpion green as kind of the, actually, I should use more of like a, a bone color, I think. I should use a bone color. So let's go ahead and do that with a bone color. <clears throat> like a bone color. That'll give this a uh, little, little bit of a kind of a dusky over overtone to it. <laughs> you can still hear my son's. Uh, I know. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Do, hold on, son. I'm just gonna turn down just the hair. Okay. I got. It, I got. It. We're going to turn it down just a hair. There we go. All right. Should still be able to hear that. Okay. <laughs> okay. Go ahead, hit play. Okay. I think you turned it down, actually. That's way too low. There you go. All right. <laughs> All right. So yeah, little guy is staying with me right now. Uh, and we're gonna, a little bit of water. We're just gonna do a little overbrush on these so you can kind of see uh, what these, these are. So these are orcs, basic rank and file for Lord of the Rings. This color may be a little too light. Yeah, it's a little, it's a little too light. So it's a little, con it's contrasting a little, a little more than I actually want to. So I'm actually going to use, I use a different color, more of like an olive green color. Let's see if we can get this to go. 
uh, the proper way. There we go. So yeah, so now we're getting that is much more the color that we want to kind of highlight the, you know, just sort of textured, your basic textured grass base here. And you can see I have some, some uh, brown blended in there, but that's fine. I mean, this is what we're going for, a little brown, a little green, and a highlight. And there we go. And I'll actually wash this down with like a generic, I have a generic wash to help blend all this together, okay? So I'm not, I'm not being terribly careful, but they get, you get six of these gobos in the uh, Lord of the Rings set. And they're, you know, the colors are pretty drab on these, so they paint up fairly quick. They're not bad for little, you know, one-piece sculpts. They're not bad sculpts. They're all right. They, uh, they look kind of cool on the table. That's all you're really going for with rank and file anyway, right? You're not going to win any awards for rank and file. You get... You want to have enough of the detail on there, you know, so it's got it's got some good quality to it, right? You can tell it's been uh, hand painted. Here's some uh, some of the orcs now, so you get three of these orcs with bows, and they're very simple. Whoops, I actually got a little. Got a little overboard on the overbrush there. In here. But these are gonna go these are gonna go by so fast that if you watch this on record, you're gonna be like, what Lord of the Rings? <laughs> when this went by. Alright. Cause they're they're basically done. I I kinda knocked these out slowly over the course of the weekend. Um, such a subtle highlight, such a subtle overbrush here. <clears throat> All right. So we'll see who jumps on to voice chat. But for now, it's just me. And the background noise is my son watching YouTube. Okay. So now here are the, I guess these are Urukai. I think they are. And they're fun. You can see they're fun. They're very simple. Again, very simple paint schemes on these. Very simple color schemes. I didn't want to overload them with color because you don't want orcs to look, you know, super garish or gaudy. You're going to save all those like bright colors and stuff for elves. Okay. They look You know, it's all pretty serviceable. Oh, Rakai here. All right, and finally, here is the big boss. So you can see I did the kind of hand on his face. He's, so he's got the war paint on his face. He's got the really cool, like jagged blade there. He's pretty cool, pretty awesome looking guy. But again, even him, his color scheme, pretty drab, right? Because, oh wow, and he's on a, he's on this, this holder, which is 
easily going to destroy itself once I'm done painting it. <laughs> All right. So now, now that we have, uh, looks like most of, now that I got most of this done, looks like there's still a couple of bases that need overbrush. Once this is done, you can see obviously it, it looks, these look a little too bright. So we're going to dull them all down, blend those colors in together a little bit better. Um, so we use my little special formula here, if I can find it. You can use Agrax Earthshade just as good for doing this type of work. Um, but I have a, I have a little, like a cell, uh, I made a, my own little wash here out of sepia ink and uh, glaze medium. That's the wrong one. That's the wrong one. I swore it was in here. Well, if I don't find it, we can either make a fresh batch or uh, or I go back to Agrax Earthshade. Let's see what I find first. Do I find sepia ink first or do I find the home mix or what is going to show up? Well, that's the wrong ink. So let's see. I can't find it. Good stuff. So far, doing very well on this stream. I'm quite proud of it. We have not accomplished a whole lot just yet. So one of the things I can do here while we're in quarantine is try to clean up this work area a little bit. I was actually planning on redoing my desk entirely, but I could not find rosin paper because I like to cover the whole paint desk in rosin paper and then just kind of reorganize it. And That's like step one, and I can't get past step one right now, so I'm going to have to figure out uh what to do what to do what to do where is this sepia ink it's a little frustrating right now that i can't find my little any of my options here for doing this there's black ink I mean, if, if I had to, I could mix black ink with skin wash, but I really don't want to have to make a separate little schmeal deal here. I'd really rather just get that full mix together and apply that. One day I'll find it. One day I will find it. Gotta be here. There's all kinds of stuff here. There it is. I found it. So I found the homebrew mix, which is fine. All right. There we go. And we're going to add, I'm going to add just a little bit of water just to kind of cut it a little bit. So we'll cut it with a little bit of water. And you'll see as this goes down, this kind of, it muddies the whole thing. It's going to turn those greens into olives, like olive color, olive variants of the green. And that's a lot on his. Let's work our way backwards. All right, and you can see how it just kind of blends all this together. This is a really nice uh, uh, wash to use on all kinds of stuff. So I used it recently. I used it on my basing for uh, the order guild that you guys saw. And if you guys are following me on social media, you can see some of the finished results 
of that order guild, which obviously now I can't play because we're all in quarantine. So, no, no, no. We're all in quarantine, so it makes sense, right? Can't, can't, can't even play what we've painted. So now, it, so currently we are not play it painted. We are paint it and wait uh, for for this horrible disease to pass us by. Hopefully, right? That's what we're all hoping for. Hoping for this horrible virus to just go away. But in the meantime, you know, we're trying. We're all trying to make do, and and it's a scary time. It really is. It's uh, but you know. Let's let's be grateful for what we have. I've got my family, my my two little guys, and my wife with me, and we're gonna we're gonna ride out this storm together. You know, there's all kinds of, uh, and then there's so first there's the threat of the virus. Then you have the threat of the economic threat, and you know what this is gonna do to the economy. Um, well, we're not even there yet. You have the virus. Then you have basic, the threat of basic survival, which is, you know, the idiots buying up all the toilet paper and um, the panic, the misinformation, the media trying to steer us one way and all that good stuff, the, politici the politicization, politicization of, this, of, of these events. Um, and some of the unscrupulous people that are profiting from it, either by gouging, you know, price gouging on the toilet paper. You have the senators that are, you know, selling, dumping stocks right before the announcements. Like, there's all kinds of stuff. And then, then you get to your personal living and economy, right? Like, how do, you know, how does my LGS survive? How do the people that... You know whose jobs require that can't be done remotely. How do they survive during this time? Um, so, anyways, it's a lot. It's a lot, and I'm I'm glad that we can be painting and just trying to enjoy some of this. Just enjoy have a little bit of peace in the middle of all this, all this horrible stuff going on around us, right? It's really interesting. I mean, this is what's going on right now is it's far more interesting than any, um, you know, any sort of Hollywood movie or or story or anything like that, because it's it's millions and it's actually billions of stories all going on at the same time. And there's a lot of tragedy and a lot of hero, hero, heroism. And um, it's just, you know, for those of us. And hopefully I'm one of them. But for those of us who make it through this dark period in history, you know, we're going to have a lot to tell our our children. My children are, are here. They're surviving. I was telling my son earlier that he's going to he's going to be able to tell his grandkids that, hey, he was alive during the during the great virus. Right. Crazy, 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 crazy. Right. So. Anyways, we'll let those dry for a minute. Let these dry for a minute. They're they're cool. Like I could go like uh, more. I could go more uh, cartoony with it. Um, and make these like brighter, like GW highlight and all that good stuff. But these are rank and file. These are, you know, I don't know. I don't really want to do the the whole like bright orcs i like these i like these like duskier right they look more movie style orc to do the duskier ones all right let's find let's find the black uh to use on the base here so if you're just joining us welcome to play a painted life let us know what you're painting or what you should be painting Today we're doing Lord of the Rings, and then we're going to switch gears and play a little... Uh, and we're going to switch gears and paint a little My Little Scythe. 
because my son and I played some of that tonight. And I told, and at the end of the game, I said, hey, I should paint something so that we have more characters to play the next time we play My Little Scythe. So just a few more options. These are going to take a little bit. It's going to take a little bit longer for that wash to dry. But we'll go ahead and put that on there. All right. And once again, I am in the Discord chat. So if you are a contributor on my channel, you know, you've got that purple, you got the purple name in the plate painted server. Guess what? You have free reign to come on in. Tell me what's what. Questions, comments, threats, all welcome. <laughs> all welcome in that area. So this Lord of the Rings box set um, looks like it can get painted in really two, two main um, batches and then the heroes the heroes you're gonna I'm gonna paint separately I think there are there's either six or eight heroes I think there are six heroes um, I'll prep all the heroes at the same time and then but they will kind of get finished the way like a lot of individual uh, commissions of mine get finished where you just kind of you paint all the skin and the faces and the eyes and all that and then you start to uh, work on specific ones and then you you finish them unless they're main color themes like all the bases get painted around the same time right that's a thing all right okay so I'm gonna start taking these Rakai off the table, putting them there so that I can, I'm going to seal them all up when we're all done here. And then I can just start putting them away. You know what I mean? But basically anything with green skin all got painted at the same time. Next up is, there's like Human thugs. So I have to paint those human thugs next. But like I said, we're going to take a slight detour here. Instead of watching me batch paint, uh, you know, six models at a time, I'm going to I'm going to paint. I'm gonna, I'll be painting two models at a time here. <clears throat> Rakai. Okay, and then the let's do a little archers. I actually should swap my wet palette. I have a feeling I'm not going to use very many of those colors at all for my my little side pieces. Yeah, see, this is all pretty basic stuff going by. It's all pretty basic. All right, that guy. So let me know in the comments if you, if you have any questions, comments, or threats. All are welcome on this live stream. Looking forward to uh, trying to vary up these live streams a little bit. I want to have uh, kind of a, a dual painting live stream going at some point. Also, maybe some board gaming. You know, open that up as an option for this group. 
just kind of take it from there. Tomorrow marks the official first day of uh, the work from home stuff that I will be on. <clears throat> so, again, interesting times that we'll be in. So at that time, at that point, I will probably queue up the next batch of Lord of the Rings painting, which will really be the rest of the bad guys, which is probably another 13 models, if I count correctly. Yeah, it's actually four. It'll be 14. Because I can do uh, Sauron, Sauron at the same time. Go oh, again. Go. Oh. A bit of an issue there. Let's fix that. Doop. Okay. Almost done, guys. Three more of these. <laughs> Three more of these, and then we'll move on to hopefully something a little more interesting. Okay. We just knock out this black, and then we let the model dry on its own. And yeah, we're gonna we're gonna paint something for fun. Okay. All right, and the last one. Okay. All right. Cool. All right. I'm going to take a quick detour here. And I'm going to swap out the paper in my wet palette to accommodate the next set of minis I'm painting. So you guys got to see the boring end to the boring batch paint. Now we will move on to the <clears throat> to the slightly more fun stuff. Okay, so. Get a little paper. All right. So I'm going to be more open to doing things during the day as well. Uh, Maybe, maybe not during the day, but maybe earlier in the day, if that makes sense. Try to get some people to join me. Okay, so here is the next bit of thing I'm working on. These are, these little guys are pretty cool. And these are, <clears throat> these are the little, little guys from my little scythe. Uh, they should actually, actually probably should have a little bit more white. Eh. 
so that they're brighter, but actually I, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with this. Zenithal, how you doing, buddy? You want to come over and say hi? Sure. You have to talk into this microphone. You can say hi. Hi. Who is this talking? Octavius. Octavius, why are you up so late? Because <laughs> I like watching FNAF. You, you like watching FNAF. Do you have school tomorrow? No. Well, not exactly. Not exactly. What does that mean? That means that I have school. But I'm not going to play Right. So well, you're gonna going to be there, you're you're I'm not going there for like work. Yeah, you're going to school. I'm you're going to be there. school from home tomorrow. Yep. Are you excited for that? No. No. How come? Cuz That's not a complete answer. Why aren't you we don't get to play Minecraft. Oh, we don't get to play Minecraft. But actually, we do. Because you're going to get up, Mommy's going to get you set up with your schoolwork, Daddy's going to jump on his uh, conference call, and then once you're done with your first section of schoolwork, then we can play some mean craft together. Sound like a plan? I'm supposed to say yes. yes. <laughs> oh, man. Are we going to do uh, some more paint streams together? Yep. Yep, okay. What's the next one we're going to paint? What's your, ne your next model that we're going to paint? Is it yeah. Do you know where the camera is? Yeah. Okay, so camera's right here. The last video that I made, I did this guy. Oh, this anglerfish guy. Um, the last video I did is the Reaper. Mm -hmm. I think I should get it to show him. Oh, no, no we'll, we'll show that later. Um, so we're so going to work on this fish dude? Yeah, we're going to work on him. He was in the video. He's pretty we cool. About cake or death. Cake or death, yes, that's right. Have you decided cake or death? Yeah. What's, what, which one is it? Is it cake or death? Cake. Cake? Cool. What do you want? I want death, I mean cake. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> All right, bud. Well, thank you for joining us. I'm painting. I'm going to go in and undercoat the eye here, actually. Make that a little bit brighter, because I'm actually going to hit that with white. All right, so you can see what I'm doing here. So starting off with a little light gray. Like that. I, oh, I need to be. I'm doing bad camera work. Okay. So I'm going to paint this light gray. Get that ready for the chibi eyes that we're going to paint. Chibi eyes. Chibi eyes. That's chibi. right, son. Chibi eyes. Chibi eyes. Chibi is a style of chubby. Uh, chibi, not chubby. Chibi. chibi. Chibi is like a Japanese style. Chibi. Uh, I guess oh, it's like chibi. Chi chibi, yeah. It's not chibi. It's chibi. You can say chibi. Well, it makes more sense if it's chibi. It makes more sense if it's chibi. 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 Wait, okay. Well, it's we're gonna chibi. make chibi. Chibi eyes. Chibi eyes. Okay. The whole guy's kind of chibi. The whole guy's kind of chibi. It kind of is. All right, <clears throat> but we're going to spend the most, the longest amount of time on these miniatures on the eyes. The eyes are the most important part of these style miniatures. And I just that. screwed that up. I already messed up this eye. How bad. See that? I already messed up that eye. It's okay. I'll fix that. There we go. So these are the two little tiger guys. Their names are like Will and Jimmy or something like that. Yeah. I'm going to name one Chango. Chango. 
and the other one is uh, Lil Dat. Lil yeah, Chongo and Lil Dat. Lil Dat. That's right. That's <laughs> you don't like my names? Lil you don't like that's Chongo that's and Lil Dat? Lil, I mean, Chongo's fine, but Lil Dat, that sounds horrible. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Why? What? I think it's great. I think Chongo and Lil Dat are awesome. So, unlike the other, should I, you know how the, we did the other um, scythe miniatures so that they're both identical? Should I do this set that they're both identical, or should I make one look slightly different than the other? How about you make one look in the, and the other one, like, how about you make one with, um, one with, the, like, uh, you know, I'll just, sure, do them the same thing. But it will be very hard to do the same design, right? Mm, it's not that hard. But well, for you, it's easy. It's not that hard. For you, it's Steve. It's like but. Deep, deep, deep. It's not that hard. But if I'd name them differently, Chango and Lil Dad, maybe. Maybe they shouldn't be identical. But those names are very weird. They're a little weird. How about you name I'm them an... Chonk and Chongo? Chonk and Chongo? Chonk is actually a pretty great name, if you ask me. Well, if no one knows what those two names are, Chonk um, died. That was, one, that was one of my oldest dad. Wait, did Chonk die? Yeah, Chonk died. But Chongo's still alive. Chongo's still alive. Are we talking, what are we talking, we're talking about Minecraft right now? Yeah. Well, anyways, we still have to find an end portal. And we still have to find an end portal. Okay. I keep telling my dad to find an end Yeah. But we actually need to. <clears throat> Why? We need blaze rod and wither skulls. Got it. Now, wither skulls are to get wither. When we're gonna get the wither skulls, it will be a little more challenging. Okay. And to make and you have to make the boss with the wither skulls. It's kind of like how you make an iron golem, except you have three heads. Okay. Then you place three wither skulls on top, and then you have to make the wither. Okay. I don't know, buddy. Well, I say I don't know. Yeah, and neither do I. I don't know myself. But what I do know is that soon, soon, we're going to find an end portal. We're going to find an end portal. Okay, soon. gotcha. Soon. Okay. 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 All right. So I'm just doing a little clean up here. Okay. <clears throat> you looking up at the screen? Yeah. Okay. Kind of yeah, he does. He looks a little weird. Uh, where's the white? There it is. All right. So now we're gonna do the whites. The whites of the eyes. So we're gonna make these eyes very white. <clears throat> Why aren't you watching your show anymore, Octavius? Because what? Don't you don't want to? Okay. Uh, I have to do the other thing. Oh, yeah. To what? To do the what thing? Okay. It's okay, buddy. As long as it's, as long as the volume isn't up too loud. It's 
okay, buddy. Okay. Yeah, it is. It actually is your bedtime, but but you're not tired, so. Does. Okay. Well. Yeah, why don't you go upstairs and grab a water? Get in there. Okay. <clears throat> so he's going to go get some water. I'm going to clean this up. Make sure that's nice and clean. There we go. Okay. And then now these guys have green eyes. So we do. Uh, so I'm gonna need somewhat of a bright-ish green. Uh, let's see if I have a good green. Good green can be hard to find. Let's use a sick green to start. Sick green is kind of a base. Okay, so now we're going to dot the green parts of the eyes. Can you shut that door, Octavius? Shut the door, please. Thanks, buddy. All right. So... Now I paint the, the greens of the eyes in. Still a lot of cleanup to happen on those eyes, as you can see. The main thing is the green should take up the majority of the eye. And you should just leave a little bit of black there around the outside of the outside of the pupil. Just a little bit of a black area there. All right. In fact, you gotta get the eye, the shape of the eyes correct. How you doing, buddy? You need help? Yeah, bring your water. Oh. I'll do it. It's okay. There you go, kiddo. <laughs> there we go. All right. So now... Okay. Yes, sir. Are you any close to getting finished? No way. Nowhere near getting. Nowhere near close, buddy. Why? Because it looks like there's not much more on the eyes. Well, the eyes are getting closer, but if you're talking about the whole miniature, we're, we're barely starting, buddy. 
Mm -hmm. We barely, we have barely started to paint here. I'm gonna clean up. Eyes look fine. <clears throat> oh no, no, they, they, look, they these eyes are a mess. This eye right there, in particular, is terrible because you got this whole area here that's not filled in properly, and then you've got this white area here that is also not filled in properly. Right there. That seems like it's pretty much it. Nope. It is not it, son. Oh my god, it's so long. Why are you wait are you waiting for me? Yeah. Why? Because. Because what, bud? Because stop. You shouldn't have to wait for me. <clears throat> Hello, hey what's up, Nelson? Hey, you missed your uh your orcs. I just put the finishing touches on the orcs. I'll, uh, I'll flash them over to the camera here soon. Right now, I want to get these underway. Okay, so two more parts left to do on these chibi eyes. And they're, it's really just the dots, the final dots in the eyes, so so they get a black dot there right and a black dot here And then the the um, the most important part, yeah, the most important part yes. is this final white dot. The final white dot here, which would go there. Right. So you pick a spot on the eye to put that final white dot and you make sure it's the same position on both eyes. Right, because that's what really gives that final, final little sparkle there in the chibi eye. You saw the Mosasaurus at Target today? Cool. Did you say Mosasaurus? I did say Mosasaurus. Looks like Nelson saw Mosasaurus at Target today. You know who Mosasaurus is. Come on, son. Come on. Let's be real. I'm talking about a person. No. You think I just have a friend named Mosasaurus? Online. That could be their name. That's pretty that's actually a really good point, son. Could be their online their online call name. Mosasaurus. You know me, it's your boy, Mosasaurus. Right? Could be. Yes. Could be. I just screwed up that eye. I've been screwing up these eyes left and right. Then water them. You water them. I've got my own heckler in what here. It's what you're doing right now. I'm not heckling. Yeah, you're, you're causing problems for me on my show. That's a heckler. That's what a heckler does. No, I'm not. No, you're not? What are you doing then? I'm sitting on a bed. You're sitting on a bed. You mean you're heckling me. Please stop being so cringy. You're the cringe. Yeah, you're I am not you're, <laughs> you're you're being cringy. No, I'm not. Yeah, you are. Stop. <laughs> All right, Nelson thinks they're cool looking. How about that? 
There. Yes. I got some approval. How do you feel about that? I said they're bad. I didn't even say they're bad. <laughs> okay. All right, son. I need you to calm down. No, uh, <clears throat> no yelling at daddy while he's streaming. Okay. All right. So now, now that that's done, I can actually, um, I can actually put these guys on the, I can mount them on these little stands, which let's go ahead and do. <clears throat> so I can finish painting them. All right. Son, you're gonna. You're, you really should watch something. You should occupy yourself. Overlock. Bring it over to me then. Okay, sorry. Okay, sorry. Alright, here we go. It's okay. Whoop. There we go. Alright, kiddo. Alright, so we're gonna mount these up. We'll paint the faces. All right, so we're gonna paint a little little tiger muzzles on them. Uh, this color is we're gonna do uh, skeletal horde on kind of the face, the muzzle area, and the belly. So this area here, the like the schnoz, will be skeletal horde. Um, let me check. I might as well just get this area in between the eyes as well. Right, and then here as well. Now, because they're chibi and they're super smooth, contrast paints may not be the best idea. Here, as you can see, because it's not leaving, it's not leaving the most even coat down. So, so if you are going to use contrast paints, make sure the paint is sitting exactly how you want it before you before you move on to the next color. So I'm going to get some of this shadow out of here. All right. Whoa. There we go. Okay. So that's going to provide a nice little, uh, nice little base for uh, if I decide to highlight that kind of hair there. On my brush, it's very frustrating. All right, these pieces for my little size are so cool. They're some of the coolest looking, some of the coolest looking miniature board game pieces I think I've ever worked on. And, you know, for kids' board games, really nothing beats um, My Little Scythe and Stuffed Fables for the quality of the miniatures. They're really, really nice quality miniatures. All right. So these guys are actually quite a bit of freehand. All right. So now, let's go ahead and hit it with the orange, which is going to be the main part of the body. And these are both going to be Bengal tigers. So we're not doing, uh, I'm not going to do a Siberian tiger, as cool as that sounds. 
Um, I, I mean, I guess I could do a Siberian if I wanted, but I don't know. It's just let's let's do the let's do one of these in orange, and then let's decide if we want to do a Siberian. You know, white tiger. I mean, it doesn't have to be Siberian. It could be a, could be an albino Bengal. And so all of this is going to be orange down here. Like if I want, if I want that one to be Siberian tiger, or I'm sorry, an albino tiger, I would do the entire. I'm gonna have to do the entire uh, fur in that skeletal horde as a base, and then highlight up to a lighter color. So before I decide to do that, though, let's let's do all of his. Let's do this guy's fur in orange and see if it. Whoa. Fade this off. Right. I've got a got too much in the ocular cavity here. Well, gonna actually have to touch that up. All right. <clears throat> so a little bit of a mistake there. So these are a little bit of a, these can be a little bit of a challenge to paint just because the design is so clean that you really, you really want to be careful when you're working with this. May have been better off just painting regular paints. It's contrast paints not doing me any favors right now. I'm trying to get that to cover. Okay. I'm actually going to have to dull this out a little bit to cover the orange. Contrast paints bleed. It's the worst. And the orange bled into this area. It's kind of a mess. So I'm going to hit it with some gray to kind of block the orange out and that will let me start over basically all right 
Anyways, let's continue on with the orange. But yeah, that orange is bleeding into the other areas, which is very frustrating. But that's, that's my fault for deciding I wanted to do a contrast paint in here. Uh, I guess he's, he's got, yeah, now that I've done this, one of these in orange, I think I am going to do the other one as an albino, just because this orange is proving to be annoying. So let's go ahead and do that. I think it definitely would have been better to just not use a contrast paint here because that's like a lot. I keep doing that. <laughs> ah! Keep doing that. Okay. There we go. Okay. All right. So that's let that orange dry, and then let's. Uh, Yeah, this guy here is just going to be <clears throat> be more of a white, so we'll use uh, we'll use an off white over this gray as kind of the kind of the deal here. I guess I could use bone. Mm, no, off white's going to be better. And then their outfits are going to be like red and black mostly. Let's see. I'm going to do this deal. Right, so that. Okay, looks like my cat wants in. There he goes. All right. Really quiet evening. Uh, I guess nobody's going to jump into the chat here, so. So we'll paint for a little bit. And then, uh, then I'll call it. So now <clears throat> this uh, this albino tiger should look pretty cool, I think. Mm. 
They may even give him a pink nose just to kind of help reinforce the the albino aspect here. <clears throat> These are some cool looking minis though, that's for sure. So, I never really, I never finished painting this set for my little scythe, mainly because we, I think my son and I only played it like once, and now, now that we're home, we want to play it more, so let's give ourselves the rest of the options to play. So my little scythe here. Okay. The rest of this. And once we get the stripes down, it should be pretty easy to paint the rest of this these minis because the their actual uniforms are very simple. All right. Cool. I mean, I could do. I actually should do this. Kind of fade that down. And leave that. M leave the muzzle and the belly. That skeletal horde color. Okay, <clears throat> before we do the stripes, I want to reinforce the white of his eyes. Should be nice and dry now, so we should be able to just knock this out. There we go. And now we can start painting the stripes, okay? So we're gonna paint the stripes black gray. <clears throat> Quiet you. And they kinda have brown noses. Yeah, let's do let's do the noses like uh a slightly darker brown. Right. We could even do a little some spots for whiskers if we want. So I want him to have a I want this one to have a pink nose because he is an albino. So we'll do like a little pink nose on this one. Mm. All right. nose there and then let's do 
Let's do the stripes. <clears throat> okay, so the thing about tiger stripes is around the face, they kind of go. Let's show you. They they kind of frame the face. They kind of. They kind of curl around, so like here, I'm gonna do uh, do a stripe like that, as you can see. And then you can do a bigger one, and then one down there, right? So this is kind of nice. I can even kind of cheat and outline that eye like I did before and because it's a stripe because it's a stripe I can I can even kind of cut a little deeper there than I normally would and then I can do this whoa that thing popping down actually screwed me up a little bit and there you go so he's got stripes there some stripes there and then we'll highlight actually come back and highlight this to help it I want this line here to be nice and clean Okay, and you can even do, if you want to, you can even do a stripe across here. Okay, and just do one more stripe there. So now you can really tell. He's got those stripes. All right, and then here. So now here, over the arms, we're gonna just paint some big solid stripes. And it doesn't have, you don't have to do a lot. Just enough to, so you can, you can see the stripes and and they don't carry over onto the belly so so this belly here is still going to be that solid color right. and then same thing here just a couple stripes there And just show them, show how the stripes kind of come around, but they don't, they don't fill the whole bottom. Okay, they don't, they don't, they're not rings, they're stripes, so they don't cut all the way around. Okay, and you do, you can do stripes on the main. And then obviously you do stripes on the tail here. All right. And then we'll do this side. So this guy, same deal. The stripes on the face are gonna be more like kind of like half rings like that right, so you could see Same thing here, we'll do a stripe across, stripe there. And 
do a stripe here. Stripes here. I like that. He has got some cool stripes, stripage going on. More stripes here. Okay. All right. Pretty cool. All right. Uh, the stripes kind of carrying over to this side so you could see but yeah that the orange will have to fix on that guy but they're super fun And stripes on the tail. Again, this is very easy. You don't have to be precise at all when you're doing this kind of stuff. There we go. All right. So the rest is going to be pretty easy. Um, let's go ahead and hit the hit the stars with this uh, actually let's use flesh terror red so these stars will both be red here The color scheme for uh, for this faction is really just red and black. So it's about as easy as it gets. Okay. In here. And then I need to highlight this orange because it's it's a little uneven and actually it looks a little dull. highlight on the orange let's see what kind of if I have any good if I have a good orange I can use here orange fire probably probably pretty good orange I don't think there's much solid in this orange fire This looks a little op a little transparent, but maybe if I apply it correctly, there we go. Okay. So I could just I'm just adding highlight layer to the orange, right? Just so the so this color scheme is a little more vivid.
Okay. Anyway, <laughs> so now you're seeing kind of the highlight on the orange. You can see it's looking pretty good. Pretty happy about that. Right? These are already starting to look he's already starting to look pretty good. I'm liking that. Alright, and then the rest of this. Alright, so now we can start moving pretty quick. Um, most of this guy's outfit is going to be black. Uh, it looks like we can do a different color on the sash. So they have it. So it has a sash going across here. So, so I think we. I think the sash will do. Uh, Let's see, what color should that sash be? I do not know. Okay, so if the hat's black, we could do ugh, brown shoes. We'll do brown shoes, black hats, black shoulders. I guess we could just do the whole thing black except for the shoes. Sounds a little bit boring. And the other option is do the pants red. Do the pants red and do the sash black. I don't know. I yeah, I think the whole I think we should do the whole thing black. Just because I really want the tiger stripes and the tiger fur to stand out more than anything. So if we do the outfit all black with just the red stars. Um, should look pretty cool. I don't really, maybe I don't want another color on the sash kind of distracting from the already striking colors on the model. So yeah, maybe. Or we do, I mean, the other option is to do the, uh, do the sash in like a, a gray color or a white color. Anyways, let's go ahead and start. Let's go ahead and start with the black. See how it's actually kind of nice. Man, I like that. Should the uh, 
I like the the black is coming out super clean and it is giving it is giving a nice effect from the rest of the the model so it's pretty striking with the black going down So yeah, I think that's what I'm doing. We're going to make this as simple as possible. Right? I mean, that's the whole point of these side minis is they're it's for a kids game. So the simpler that design is, the better. Simple, 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 simple. All right, and then we're gonna go ahead and... So these guys are gonna be wearing the same uniform, but they're just gonna be slightly different. I do think they look super sharp with the red and black um, color scheme. And I could go back and do like more highlights on the on the black uniform after it dries. And that's actually not a terrible idea at all. So we might do that. But for now I'm just gonna block this out. Just can so you can kind of see just how simple you can go with this with these minis. Like let's say you were you know, you bought this game for your kid and you wanted to paint it real quick, you could do kind of what I'm doing here, right? You use your, use your actual painting for the free hand and for the eyes. And then just, and you can use your contrast paints to kind of block out the rest of the mini. All right. And then let's go ahead I'm going to do a couple things. I'm going to highlight those stars, but before we do that, also, I also want to just paint the bases in. So we're going to go with this heavy red. Where do I have red gore? Hmm. Heavy red will have to do. 
All right. Okay. So this red pretty bright. In fact, I'm going to have to go back and get my get the stars done in the same red just because look at how like str like strong this red is. Very strong red. That's fun. And like I said, we'll get the stars in this color as well. Just so everything is nice and super clear. All right. Yeah, these are very fun pieces, and My Little Scythe is a super fun game for for small kids. Um, the recommended thing is eight plus. I don't know. I bet I think adults could enjoy this game. I I already I know a couple of adults that would enjoy playing. <laughs> My little scythe, without kids, they would still, they'd still really enjoy it. Okay, let that dry. Oh, I gotta do the star as well. I just let everything dry for now. But yeah, we got the basic color block down, which is awesome. This red is probably not going to dry evenly, so I may have to come back and hit it with another coat of red. And that's the end of the world. I missed a spot there. It looks like I did. Just boop. <clears throat> All right. And then there's like, so you could do some edge highlights if you wanted to. Right? If you want to. You don't have to do this. In fact, this might be a little overkill, but I'm going to do it anyway. Just really lightly take your light gray from earlier. And Just gonna give that a little, a little highlight. Sorry, just a little bit, just enough to draw your draw your eye up there for just a split second. There we go. I can even do a little bit here and here, right? A little bit here on this fold. There we go. Okay. All here. All here. Okay. There we 
All right. Okay. Just little edges here and there. Nothing too nothing too extravagant on these guys. All we're doing is just playing with our lighting a little bit. You can see how simple all that is. Very easy, very simple minis to do. Again, it's just painting. Screw it up, so what? Paint it over, paint over it. Worst case scenario, you paint it too thick, you strip the model, start over. Now, as much of a pain as that is, still not the worst thing in the world if you had to. Frankly, I think if you have the right attitude about painting, you know, barring something hypercritical you're working on, most of the time, you're not, you're never gonna, like stripping a miniature won't even be a thought. Yeah, these guys are fun. They're fun. Let's do, uh, let's do a little bitty, teeny tiny highlight, teeny tiny little pink highlight on the stars. Just along the the upper edge of the star, right? There you go. Just along the upper edge. That's fun. That's fun. Finally, we can paint some chibis without any remorse or regret that we're painting chibis for a company that's scamming its customers. Ooh, shots fired. You know who you are. You know who you are. <laughs> Stop scamming your customers. And don't come back at me. Don't clap back at me. I promoted you for a number of years for free, willingly, and backed you while you made mistake after mistake after mistake, miniature manufacturing company. So we owe each other nothing. Well, no, you owe me three Kickstarters and I don't owe you any more defense. Defen defending your name is, is days gone by. All right. Cool. Pretty happy with that. With these guys. We're going to let them dry for a bit. Um, I could dot in some spots for whiskers, but I'm not going to. They are quite fun. We're just going to let them dry. We're going to we're going to let those dry. And uh, at some point tomorrow, I'm going to queue up the next part of the Lord of the Rings stuff. It's all pretty simple. Um, you know, let me show Nelson here some examples. Real simple. Just throw tufts on them. 
which I know you, you mentioned you were going to do. So those guys are all done. Um, so I'll seal them up and then uh, we'll, we'll seal them up and then I'll queue up the next section of models. So I think we're at it, dudes. I think, oh, wait a minute. There's a tiny little corner there of red missing on his base. Let's go ahead and take care of that real quick. Yeah, it's right there. And there's red there. I'm just going to hit them with some more red around here just to kind of help those, the bases look more solid. All right. Okay. Yep. So, um, so what's next for painting? Well, I've got another set of uh, monsters to batch paint for Lord of the Rings, including, uh, including these. Thug guys, the wolf guys, and the ring wraith guys. So, oh, and Sauron. So here's Sauron. Here's the ring wraith guys. I think those are ring wraiths. Are these ring wraiths or are they like, I don't think they're the undead army that Aragorn uh rises i don't think they're those guys and then you got the dire wolves here dire wolves and then you've got these guys here which are like i think they're just like barbarian guys or thug guys or something i don't know but yeah that's what's next for lord of the rings i am gonna call this here so i want to thank everyone for watching have a good night guys and we'll catch you on the next one. Wait, it's not letting me. What? <laughs>